<laughs> One thing to keep in mind, Chinese lyrics and spoken conversational Chinese usually will have a lot of differences. Sarah's been in China for a moment, and when you have somebody who's in China and actually learn Chinese, you should listen to what they say. Either way, the song will definitely help you with your listening and speaking for just everyday conversations. Hi, my name's Sarah. I've been in Shanghai for about nine months, and I work here at an ad agency and one of my favorite ways to get my Chinese better is to learn Chinese songs. First what I'll do is I'll try and choose a slower song and usually I'll just be in a DD or something. I'll hear a song that I like catches my ear and I'll ask my DD driver, Oh well she find me the anyway took a good jiaoshima Okay, hopefully my tones weren't too awful. I'll just say that enough times where he understands what I'm saying and then he'll usually write that in my phone or something. Or you can just ask your Chinese friends or coworkers to give you a song recommendation. Once you figure out your song... By the way, if you don't know me, my name is Kuizhou. You know, look up the lyrics and hopefully you can find a karaoke version of the song on YouTube. And so what I like to do is I like to go line by line through the song, figure out every character that I've never seen before, can't recognize, put those into maybe a Quizlet or something and, you know, learn the character. <laughs> Next after would be listening to the song while looking at the lyrics and maybe just stopping after each lyric going slow, but seeing if I can identify the character that's being sung as it's being sung, right? And really connect the sound to the word and then stopping gradually to make sure that I'm uh, comprehending the meaning as well. Next, after I can read along comfortably as I'm hearing it, um, maybe I started with the pinyin and then I take it away, right? Once I get comfortable with really being able to recognize the characters and knowing how they sound, then what I'll do is I'll try and sing along with the singer and then gradually try and sing it by myself with just the karaoke version. And honestly, learning a song is kind of an undertaking. It takes me several days. I do it in chunks, maybe even several weeks. If you want me to coach you, help you learn more strategies about how to learn Chinese effectively, link is in the descriptions below. But what I'll find is that maybe I'll learn the chorus one day. That'll be like my first chunk. And then I won't really like get the hang of it but then the next day that part will get stuck in my head and that's when it'll click for me i think it's like the sleep consolidation thing like the, the music is like you know like helping you learn it and then once you know your chinese song you can go and impress all your friends at ktv the song i've been learning lately is called xiao xing yun <laughs> That is my song recommendation. If you were around HSK 3-ish, maybe even lower, you'd probably be okay. Lower or higher, give or take. I recommend the song Xiao Xing Yun. It means like my little lucky. It's by the artist Hebe, H-E-B-E. -E. It's also in a Taiwanese movie, which I have yet to see, but um, I will be excited to see it because I'll be like, I know the song. <laughs> You get to see the side of Chinese um, that you don't always see. You can understand what Chinese is like in a song and in poetry and written Chinese and how that's different from you know, your everyday conversations. And not only that, you also maybe learned about a Chinese superstar or a movie that the song was in. There's all these little like bonus pieces of knowledge that I feel like comes with learning Chinese songs.